Meet John. He recently began investing 1000 rupees every month. One month, he invested a bonus of 500 rupees. But when he checked his returns later, the return rate seemed wrong. Turns out, John used CAGR instead of XIRR. But what are they? And what's the difference between the two? Well, keep watching to find out. But before that, if you want more such content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to never miss out on any updates from us. So let's start with what is CAGR in mutual funds. CAGR or Compound Annual Growth Rate tells you how much your money grew each year on average over a certain number of years. It gives you a smooth yearly rate that would get you from the starting amount to the ending amount, even if the investment went up or down along the way. To calculate CAGR, let's take an example. Suppose you invested 1 lakh in mutual fund. After 5 years, it grew to 1 lakh 80,000. Now, if you use the CAGR formula with the initial value as 1 lakh, final value as 1 lakh 80,000 and number of years is 5, we end up with a CAGR of approximately 12.57%. Hence, your investment grew at an average rate of 12.57% per year. CAGR is useful when you make a one-time investment or you aren't going to add or withdraw money during your investment. But it's not ideal if you're investing regularly, like through SIPs. For that, XIRR is better. If you want a thorough description of the difference between CAGR and XIRR, make sure to check out the blog link in the description below. So now let's go with what is XIRR in mutual funds. XIRR or Extended Internal Rate of Return is used when you are investing money in mutual funds but not all at once. Maybe you are doing monthly SIPs or you add some extra money every now and then. The point is that you are investing at different times and amounts. So it becomes quite hard to know exactly how much you have earned in total. XIRR calculates your exact return based on every time you invest in money, every time you took out the money and how much you invested and how much your investments are worth today. To calculate XIRR, it requires three inputs, values, dates and guess. Value is an array of a range of cash flow values where investments are negative and withdrawals are positive. Each value represents a different cash flow event. Dates is an array or a range of dates corresponding to each cash flow in the values array. Guess is optional and is an initial estimate of what the XIRR will be, which helps Excel's calculation. If omitted, Excel assumes a default guess of 10%. To calculate XIRR using Google Sheets, create a table with two columns, date and cash flow. In the last row, write down the current value of your investments. To calculate XIRR, write equal to XIRR and select the whole cash flow column followed by the date column and close the bracket. Multiply the value by 100 to get the final XIRR percentage. So, XIRR and CAGR help measure mutual fund returns, but they may not give you the full picture. And the full picture might involve risk factors. To learn about such potential risk factors involved in mutual funds, check out this video. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.